think I've got everything together. Hi, guys. I'm sorry, I'm a few minutes late again this week. At least just a couple minutes this time, not a whole hour. Okay. Well, go ahead and get started here. This is the last chance that you'll get to get the Everything is Rosy uh, product medley. I think Friday's the last day. Yeah, the 31st. So it'll be Friday's the last day you can get it. And I'm offering a class, uh, online class, if you order from me and use this uh, week's, miss, sorry, miss this month's host code. Let me go over to the screen. Um, if you purchase the medley from me and use this host code CG66HRAT, you'll receive the online class. It's going to be on Facebook and YouTube. Um, I'll mail all the cardstock, I mean, boss cardstock, the boxes and stuff needed to make the projects. And that'll be mailed to you separately from the order. And I did just get the projects done. I'm going to show you those here in a little bit. And um, you'll get the exclusive tutorials for each project, and you'll have access to the online class forever. Now, if your order is $150 or more, do not use that host code. That way you'll get the Stampin' Rewards, and as long as the Everything is Rosy is in your uh, order, you'll get this class free. And since this one's been going pretty well, I've decided to start doing monthly classes. So this month, I mean, sorry, in June, starting June 4th, because we need to wait till the new catalog starts, I'm going to do one for everyone that purchased the good purchases the Good Mac Morning Magnolia, that's a tongue twister, <laughs> Good Morning Magnolia bundle from me between June 4th and it, the uh, catalog goes live around noon mountain time. So if you're here in Indiana with me Eastern time, that would be two o'clock in the afternoon through June 30th, 2019 at midnight. Um, let's see, and I haven't been able to generate a host code yet because those only last for a month. So I'll do that June 1st and I'll let you know that next week in the live next week. If you purchase that bundle from me, then you'll get the free online class on Facebook and YouTube, the cut and emboss cardstock, and the embellishments you need to make the projects. Um, and I'll, you'll, you'll only need ink pads, a few blends, and um, the bundle, of course. And I'll show you that here in a little bit. And I actually have those projects done already, so I'll be showing you those in a minute. And you have access to the Facebook online class for one year. I decided to do it this way because I'm going to do these monthly. I'll have too many groups on Facebook. So we'll let them be available for one year, but the YouTube videos will always be there and those will be private and be only, only the ones that are given the link, which will be the people that order this from me, will uh, be able to see those videos. Um, I will go ahead and show you really quick, and I think I'll do it down here. Oh, let's do the drawing first. Something I always seem to forget. Last week I said that um, if you shared my video, and commented shared below the video that you would get this very first ribbon free if I drew your name. And had a couple people share it last week. And the winner is, oh, Melissa Gregory. She shared a couple, so I'm glad she won it. Uh, I'll get with you and get this ribbon to you. You'll love it. You'll have a lot of fun with it. Now, I offered this one for next week's. So if you share this video and comment below that you've shared it, you will get in a drawing to get this chicken, these chicken wire embellishments. These were in the holiday catalog last fall. And I took one out of a package that I'm keeping for myself so you can see what it looks like. You actually pop it out of here. So this is just protecting it, this piece here. You, if you think of something to use with that, you can. And then this is the actual chicken wire you'll be using. So it's silver on one side and like a vanilla color on the other. And you can tarnish it up with like soft suede ink and things like that to make it not be so shiny, but you can also cut little sections out. You don't have to use this whole piece for a card. But I had so much fun with these embellishments and I had a few packs left over, so I wanted to get that. So if you share my uh, video this week, by Tuesday, so by next Tuesday, if you share my video and comment share below, then you'll get this for free. Um, I've had, like I said last week, I've had some people actually want to share it, but they really didn't want to be in the drawing. That's fine if you share it and don't comment, then I'll know you don't want to be in the drawing. So I will only put the people that uh, commented shared in the drawing. Okay, so now we got that over with, I want to show you what the class is going to look like for this Everything is Rosy. And I've got a few of you, hopefully you're watching the video because you'll get to see what you can learn how to make. And I'll be mailing the uh, supplies for this out probably next week. But this is a neat card that I've used. It's a special card. So that's going to be one of the cards. So you get all the card stock that you need to make this. You already have the designer paper and the die cuts, and you'll need to use the ink. But there's one card. The other card will be this one. So this is another special. I made a few fancy fold cards. So this one you open up like this. Oh, it looks like my video. Oh, there we go. Let me do that again because my video kind of froze. We'll do it like this, and then you open it up, and there's the inside. So that's one of the cards. 
So you get all of these the uh, supplies to make this free when you buy that. Everything is Rosie Medley. And like I said, you only have till Friday to order it. And this pretty card, and I used the um, rose gold shimmer paint that's in the pack with this. It's a little hard to tell in the video, but it's real shimmery in true life. And then here's another card. This one uses the embellishments that are in the medley, too. And we, I stamped with the um, shimmer paint on this one for the background paper. So I made my own background paper for that card. And then I promised a couple 3D projects. So this one's a little gift box. And I used the neat die border in the die set to make the lid. It's just a cute little box. It's like a 3x3 three three box, if I remember right. Yeah, it's a 3 inch by 3 inch. I'm, I think about a couple inches tall. And then you'll also get to make this cute little box. I will give you the uh, the, the clear box box to make. And um, you'll just cut out the paper. But it's got some paper in it. I put some little candies inside. And I'm going to show you, if you look at the, this is the stamp set that you get in the medley. I use these two flowers to make this great big one. So I'll be showing you how to make that great big one. And I also use the shimmer paint to make that flower. Sorry that the camera seems to be jerking around. I'm not sure why it's doing that today but I had a lot of fun making that flower. That was fun. So those are all the projects that you'll learn if you um, order this medley from me. And just so you can see what everything you get in the medley, you get the stamp set, this beautiful die set, and that's that border I was showing you with, that I did with that box. You will get, oops, sorry, the mirrored embellishments, which I've used a few of those. And you'll get two sheets these embellishments and I'm going to need this one for the card I'm making here in a minute. We're going to take that out while I've got it out and I will need, I think that's all I need on that sheet. Then you'll get two sheets of this and I'm going to be using this one for the card and then we've got, uh, you'll get two sheets of this. You will get, Get, there are 48 sheets of embellishment, of, um, sorry, designer paper. It's six by six designer paper. Gorgeous. One side has got the um, rose gold foil. And you'll also get eight sheets. I think it's eight of each. Um, yeah, it is. Eight of each design. So you can make a lot of different things with these. So, if it, so that's six. So it'll be, um, six designs, eight of each sheet. And then you also get the rose gold foil. You'll get eight sheets of this. And these out of the way here and I just realized I hope you're hearing me I forgot to put my microphone on let me get that up you might be able to hear a little better now there we go hopefully you can hear a little better <laughs> I forgot to put that on okay so then we've got let's see what else do you get oh yeah you get the rose gold shimmer paint love the shimmer paint and I'm actually going to use it here in the card I'm going to be demonstrating so you get all of that for only $80, and if you were to buy it all separately, it would be over $100. So you're getting a really good deal with this, and you're getting my online class. So if you want to do that, make sure you place that order and use this month's host code, and that's in the bottom left corner of the screen, too. So I'll go ahead and I'll show you the Good Morning in Magnolia online class here in a little bit. For right now, I'm going to go ahead and make that card that I told you about. I want to make one last card with this medley because I really like this group of products. And where did I put, oh, I think I picked it up with, hold on a second. Oh, here we go. I forgot to put it down here. Oh, and one thing I forgot to show you, you do need to have four ink pads to make the projects. You'll need the Blushing Bride, Pear Pizzazz, Melon Mambo, and the Knight of Navy. So these are all colors that have been around for a few years. So you probably already have them in your stash. I want to make sure I use some colors you probably already had. So now we'll go on to, get onto the card. I'm going to take a piece of Knight of Navy. This is going to be a, uh, mainly navy and that rose gold. It looks so pretty together. So this is an eight and a half by, uh, I'm sorry, eight. This is eight and a half by five and a half. Fold this in half. Find my bone folder here. Well, I did have it out. Oh, there it is. I knew I had it. Get that done. Get up in the screen a little better here for you. Okay. Now I'm going to take, I'm going to show you what I did. I'm losing track of things. Okay, here's that pretty border. I did it with the rose gold foil, and I wanted to show you how I did that. So I'm going to bring my big shot in. This is a piece of, I forget how big this was, five and a half by one. So I did two five and a half by ones of this copper. 
bring my big shot in. Make sure I've got that in the video. Not too bad. Put that down. I'm going to grab the border die and what you're going to do, what you do, um, this side here, this straight edge does not cut. So what I'm going to do is just put that up here. I'm going to line the leaves that are down the farthest near the edge of the cardstock. And that looks pretty straight up there, so that'll work. So it's a magnetic platform, standard cutting pad, the, die, the paper, the die, and then another standard cutting pad. I'm going to run that through, and I'm going to do it just a couple times real quick to make sure it's cut really good. I'll pick it up and turn it over. Oh, yeah, that looks good. So one thing I like about this die, it really does cut pretty easily. I was really impressed. Sometimes these really delicate, intricate dies are hard to do. So I'm just going to pull. I find it easy just to pull this bottom part off then take it out of the die. And most of the pieces come out when you take it out of the die. But there are a couple little ones here, it looks like. So I'll just take... Now the trick, it, we've got this little thing I don't want to tear off, so I'm going to kind of pop it up a little bit. That way I can pull that out. I didn't use to pop it up, and then I ended up ripping it off. So if you pop that little piece out, see how easy that came out? I didn't even need my, my tool. So that's ready to go. So it's simple as that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take, where'd my designer paper go? Oh, this is that beautiful marble design that's in this paper. Isn't that gorgeous? I love that. I definitely wanted to make a card with this paper. Um, and this is a, forget how big this one is. This one is five and a half by two. I'm going to turn it over and bring my snail in. I'm just going to put snail here along the edge of the designer paper. I think this is the easiest way to put that border on is if you put it on the designer paper. Okay, and I'm hoping today I'll see some comments. Last week they weren't showing up for some reason. Hopefully they'll show up today. So I'm just going to line this up. I just want to have a little bit, maybe about a quarter of an inch or less of that straight edge showing. So we've got that on. And I'll do the same thing here. Okay, I think we got it. There we go. I thought I had this turned down. Sounds like it's talking to me. Yep, it is. Hold on. There we go. So there we go. Hopefully you didn't hear that. That would drive you nuts. <laughs> There's so many things you have to turn off when you start a video. It's hard to remember everything. Oh, I almost forgot. Those of you that come to my class who always say, don't forget the ribbon. Well, I just about did it. So this is a piece of, um, I think it's a seven inch piece of the beautiful Knight of Navy with the rose gold edging. This is my favorite ribbon. Oh, that was one thing I forgot to show you. You also get ribbon with this medley. Can't believe I forgot the ribbon. This is the best, one of the best things in the kit. You get 10 yards of each. This is Melon Mambo Ruched ribbon and this is the Knight of Navy rose metallic, I mean, rose gold metallic edged ribbon. So you get 10 yards each of that. So you get a lot of ribbon too. So it's such a good deal. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some adhesive on each end of the ribbon, wrap it around the center of the paper, and just wrap it around, and then that adhesive I put on makes it so the ribbon stays on. So that's ready to go. So now I can put it on the card. Especially with designer paper, it is so hard to get that to come back up again if you put it down before you do that ribbon. Okay, and that's going to go right across the middle of the card. Doesn't that just look rich looking? It is so pretty. You can tell how it shimmers in the light. I love that. Okay, now I'm going to bring in this label. I'm going to show how easy this card is to make. I'm going to stamp the... Oh, hi, Deborah. She's from Kentucky. Glad you're here. I just started on the card, so you haven't missed too much from the card. And Debbie from Michigan. Oh, I've got state above me and the state below me. How cool. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to stamp the congratulations in this label. Now, just so you know, this is not one of the cards that's in the class. It's just the ones that I showed you earlier. And if you are just getting on now, you can watch the beginning of the video, and you'll see all the cards that I'm offering in this online class. And this is the one you have to order the medley by uh, the end of the month, which is Friday. So I've got that stamped congratulations on there. And then I'm going to put just a little bit of adhesive on the edge of this, on the inner part of these flowers, and stick it on 
this congratulations right here. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab some Stampin' Dimensionals. Put a couple there. And a couple here should do pretty good. And then I'm going to put this on the center of the card. See if this paper backing comes off quickly. It's coming off pretty good. And put that right across the ribbon. Stick it on right there in the middle. Okay, isn't that pretty? But I didn't, I wanted a little more, so I'm going to grab these um, embellishments here. Looks like this one kind of came off. Oh, and the, if you look, it's the, all the little embellishments are faded. It's because there's a film on it. Looks like the film already came off of this one, so I won't have to worry about that on this one. I'm going to put it right there on the ribbon. Now I'm going to grab another one. Put it on. And then remove that film. And the film comes off really easy. Okay, and there's the front of the card. But because this is, let me see if I can get it angled so you can see it a little better. The lighting's there. That You can might see the gold embellishments a little better that way. But that's the front of the card. And because this is the dark card stock, I'm going to decorate the inside. So I've got a piece of five and a quarter by four inch Whisper White. And, and I'm bringing in the shimmer paint. I had to show you how to use a shimmer paint in one of my lives. So you shake it up really good and that puts a little bit of paint in the lid. And I'm going to take this sponge dauber and that's another thing I'm going to be giving those that do my class because you have to, you, you need a sponge dauber to do the some, some of the shimmer paint. So I'll be putting that in your kit too. So I didn't know if everybody, not everybody has uh, daubers. So I want to make sure you had one so you can make your projects. So I'm just dabbing. So I got the paint on there and I'm just dabbing it on the stamp. I'm going to stamp this right here in the corner. It slid on me a little bit, but I think it'll be okay. Yep, that looks fine. So that will dry pretty quick. It did kind of slide, but that gives you the idea. I'll show you my other card that went a little better. That's the first time I've ever had it slide on me. Of course I have to do that in a video. Then I'm going to stamp the leaves and I'm doing these night and navy because I wanted to stay with as few colors as possible. Oh, and I still need to stamp a center. So these little dots are also in the stamp set. Stamp that in the middle. The paint's probably pretty dry. It looks like it's a little. Yeah, I'm going to use my heat tool and dry it just a little bit. So it looks like it's a little wet right here. I think it's because it slipped on me. Okay, now we'll go ahead and put some snail on there. If it hadn't slipped on me, it wouldn't have pulled up on me because it dries really fast. Okay, and this just goes right on the inside. And that's the, in the, the end of the card. So isn't that what that was? That was so quick. I wanted to show you a quick way, a uh, quick card, so you know that you don't have to take so much time to make a beautiful card. And with all those die cuts in that kit, it just makes it super easy. Okay, now I'm going to show you my online class for June. And like I said, because I liked, I had fun making the one for the everything is uh, rosy, so I decided I'm going to start doing monthly, uh, monthly online classes. And you'll just need to buy a product using the June host code. And this for this, uh, sorry, not this month, but for June, I picked out the Good Morning Magnolia. This is already a really popular bundle. So what you would do, you want to order this. And I forgot to look up the price. I know it's 60 some dollars, but you get this, which is a clean set. And you also get, it includes the die set. So getting the die set, you're saving 10%. So it's definitely the way to go. But look at all those beautiful dies. I love that there's a die for the big flower. And I wanted to make some little flowers. So when, when you order this and use the June host code, and I will give you the June co host code next week in live. And so make sure you wait till June 4th because that's when the catalog goes live. And it'll be noon mountain time. They've got to have time to be able to adjust everything to the new catalog. So starting June 4th at noon mountain time through uh, June 30th, if you order this bundle from me using June's host code, you'll get my online class free and I will ship all of the, or mail to you all of the cardstock and the embellishments that you need to make the cards. And here are the cards. This one is a quick and easy one. Oh, the video's messing up again, hold on. 
There we go. I don't know why it does that. It's my wonderful internet again. But I'll be showing you how to color this in. Isn't that pretty? I used my Stampin' Blends, and but I didn't color it all. And I'll just show you how to get that light, airy feeling on the magnolias. I just thought that looked really good. So this is the easiest card. This one goes together really quick. I always like to show one easy card. And I'll be giving you the ribbon you need to make it. You, what you will need, well, first I'll just show you the cards. So there's that card. Here's another one that you'll be getting. You'll also get the doily to finish off the card. And I'll give you the piece of the, the ribbon. And I've, since this is on black cardstock, I also decorated the inside. So that's another card in the class. Here's my other card. There'll be five cards all together. So this is using one of the dies. This is mainly using dies. And I'll show you how to make this neat shape. This is actually made with the die, with a die that's in the set. So it's a neat way to make labels, different looking labels. And I always like figuring out new ways to do that. And there's the inside for that one. And here's another one using that same technique I used on the other one. Now this one is die cut though. And then I went ahead to the inside on this one too. So there's four of the cards, and then here's the fifth one. This one is the Fancy Fold card. It's called a Center uh, center Step Fold card. So I really, oh, there we go. That video keeps messing up. Let me bring it down so you can see it a little better. But you can tell it's made differently. I'll show you how to make that. And the dies in the set will make this beautiful flower. I love this flower. I had a lot of fun making that. But it's a little hard to tell, show you in the video, but that this is how it, folds there we go that shows a little better so it's neat fold and it's a super easy fold you will be so impressed and what i will do i will go ahead and make the scoring lines for you and uh, the cuts but i'll show you in the video how to do it on your own but i don't know if all of you have scoring tools and things like that so i want to make sure you had everything you needed to make the the every to make the uh, cards and i will also emboss like this one's done with the subtle folder so anytime i use an embossing folder i'll make sure those are embossed for you too I embossed the flower on this one. So, but you'll be doing all the die cutting since you've got the dies with you. So you'll get to learn how to make all five of these cards. If you order the every, uh, I'm sorry, the Good Morning, I've been so used to talking about the other one, <laughs> the Good Morning Magnolia bundle. And once again, I'll show that to you one more time. There's the beautiful stamp set. And I love all the words. It's all the words that I, and greetings I used in those cards came from this set and the beautiful dies. Okay, now we'll get to going on the card because I wanted to make a card with this to show you another neat thing to use, way to make it. This is going to be using vellum. This is a four and a quarter by four and a quarter inch piece. I'll bring my little pad back in. And I'm going to stamp it. Oh, I wanted to show you with the class. I keep getting sidetracked. Sorry about that, guys. And also, the other thing that happened this week, my husband, we have a blue tick, and my husband wanted to breed her, breed with Bobo, our male, so we bought a female dog, and all of a sudden now she's had puppies. She had puppies yesterday. So it's been a little crazy around here, so I'm still a little flustered. They are so cute. She only had two, though. That's a low litter, but they're pretty big pups, so for her sake, I'm glad they're not any bigger. Okay, I'm losing... Oh yeah, I was going to show you the ink pads that you need uh, to make those cards. You'll need the Petal Pink, the Early Espresso, and the Tuxedo Black Memento. Those are the only ink pads you need to make those cards because I I wanted to keep the ink pads down low. So this is a newer color. It was one that came out last year, but it's in the Settles collection. And this is in the Neutrals. And this is just the Memento uh, pad because you need the Memento to use the blends. And you will need blends. I forgot about that. You need the Mossy Meadow blends. Hopefully you have these in your stash. The Petal Pink and the Color Lifter. And... The So Saffron is the yellow that is used in the paper, in the Magnolia Lane paper, but the So Saffron one is in the new catalog and I can't order that yet. So I'm use the uh, Light Daffodil, which works just as good. So if you don't want, if you've got the Light Daffodil and you don't want to worry about getting the Saffron, this one still works. So either you need the So Saffron blends or the Light Daffodil, the Light works okay too. But those are the blends you need to have to make them too. So you might want to place those on your order when, if you don't have those when you get the bundle. Okay, now back to the card. This is a four and a quarter by four and a quarter vellum. I'm gonna emboss this. I'm gonna take my embossing buddy, go over this. Oh, Deborah, you're gonna love playing with that set. It is so fun. I actually made a lot of the cards I showed you. Well, I made most of them, yes. Well, I made two yesterday and I made it like two today and yeah. So, and I came together really quick. I was had so much fun with it. 
Okay, now I gotta find my big stamp. I've got so many things thrown on this desk. Here we go. Here's the big flower. I'm gonna take my Versamark and use it. Now this is not in the class. I just wanted to show you another way you can use this set. And I'm gonna stamp. Since I've already taken all the moisture out, that's why I had to use this because I don't want embossing powder to get on places, other places. I just want it to go on the stamped image. And that helps that happen. Lay that down. Once it's laid down, I'm gonna push it down a little bit. Lift it up. You probably can't see it in the video, but there's a nice watermark. Well, you can see a little bit of the image. Now I'm gonna bring in my white embossing powder out. And I keep them in these little packages. It's a lot easier. You can get these at Walmart. Those little, rub, not, not Rubbermaid, the cheap ones. These are actually the Walmart brand. They work great. It's just a little plastic spoon. I think I've got it all covered up pretty well. And because I used that embossing buddy, it's only sticking to the image. So if you don't have one of those, you definitely want to get one of those because it is such a pain to get all that embossing powder off where you don't want it. And I'll bring in the heat tool. I don't want to use the heat tool on my pad because it might start melting. So what I'm going to do, something I forgot to do, I was going to grab a piece of white paper so you could see it a little better. Let me grab one up here. There we go. It's a little hard to see it with that wood background. Still hard to see it, but that'll work. Actually, you know what? I think I am going to do this. I'll just be real careful. That way, because you can definitely see that better on there. So I'm going to let this run for a few seconds because I want it to get good and hot because the vellum might start to curl if I stay on it for too long. And you want this good and hot. Okay, now it feels hot. So now it'll start uh, melting the embossing powder really quick. Hopefully you'll be able to see it in the video. Here we go. Can you see how it's getting the lighter white up in that top corner? That shows that it's melting. So I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to stop for a minute and see if you can see the difference. Top right corner is a little brighter white. It's getting nice and shiny. So once it starts to get shiny, that's when you stop and just move to the next section. Don't be doing this because it's going to take forever for that to melt. Just stay on it. Stay a few inches above just because it's the vellum. Sometimes the cardstock, you go closer to the cardstock, but you don't want to do that with the vellum. But see how quick it's melting for me since I preheated it before I got going. Okay, there we go. Now that looks pretty just like that, but I'm going to color it in. So this I will definitely want a little white piece of paper so you can see what I'm doing. I'm actually going to turn this over. It is a lot easier to color. This is called the stained glass technique. And I was going to use both the light and the dark petal pink uh, Stampin' Blends, but I had a really hard time seeing the light one, so I'm just going to use the dark one this time. And I'm going to quickly color in, and since I'm not blending, it's okay. I want to try to stay in the line. So one nice thing about doing it on the back, too, I'm, as you can see, I'm coloring over the little white lines because that's not going to be seen on the other side because the embossing is going to cover it up. So you can get it colored in a lot quicker that way. This might be one I keep. Okay, so I've got that all colored in real well. Now with vellum, when you blend, you have to be really careful because the vellum will just mix the colors completely and they really, and it become one color. So what I'm gonna do, this is the Dark Mossy Meadow. So I am using the same blends that you need for the class, by the way, because I wanted to, I'm using the same designer paper on this card. So I'm using the colors in the paper. That's why I love using the designer paper because then I don't have to come up with a color combo. On the back of all the packs, it tells you what colors are in the paper and I just use those. It's great. So what I'm doing, I'm doing a jagged lines, not, well, a zigzag line, I should say, scribbling along the little veins in the leaves because I want that, those to be a little darker. And I'm going wider than the embossing so you can see it on the other side. And I'm doing jagged lines because if you do just a straight line, it's not going to look right. Leaves have um, don't have straight lines to them. They're not going to be perfect. So that's why I'm doing the jagged line or zigzag line. But then normally I would blend that in with the light one, but I'm going to show you what you need to do because you can't do that. Like I said, it'll just turn into one color. So I've got all of those done. Here's the light mossy meadow. So now I'm just going to color in between 
and kind of go over where the two colors meet, but I'm not gonna just start coloring the whole thing like I normally do with the light because that just mixes it in. But I do wanna blend it just a little bit where the colors meet because that makes it a little more gradual effect. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now it looks kind of funny here on this side, but then when we turn it over, ta-da, isn't that pretty? You get a little closer, but you can still see the veins. So I gave that little dark color. Oh, and I did forget the yellow. I found out there's just little bitty holes. I wanted the center to be have a little bit of a yellow tint to it. So I am going to color it from this side because I could barely see it. And this will actually uh, dye the embossing. That's the other reason I didn't want the white embossing to turn pink or green. So that's why you want to color it on the inside because the alcohol markers actually color on the embossing. So that's all done. And the trick I'm putting it on the card, first, let me go ahead and grab the pieces for the card. I'm using petal pink card stock. This is a five and a half by eight and a half piece. Gonna fold it in half like usual. And then I have a four inch by five and a quarter piece of the petal pink. And I embossed this with a subtle folder. You can see it a little bit in the video, but that's the subtle folder. And that is gonna be in the new catalog still, thank goodness. I am using this uh, folder a lot. It just gives you, it makes your own textured cardstock. Love that. So I'm gonna go ahead, oh, take that back. Thankfully this is slippery. I'm gonna lay that down for a minute because I do not want to put that on yet. I need to grab a piece of my uh, designer paper. This is a mag from the Magnolia Lane paper and it's, uh, the colors match the flower. So I'm gonna put that, this is a one inch by four inch. Grab my, oh, I've got snow right here. And I'm going to put that near across the bottom, not all the way down, but about right here on my embossed piece. It's going right across. And then there's also some beautiful ribbon. It's called Magnolia Lane Ribbon. And this is the linen one. It comes in two different ribbons. So this is the combo you would get. I think it's five yards of each, if I'm remembering right. I can't remember for sure. But this is the Mossy Meadow uh, linen thread you get and some linen uh, ribbon. So I'm using the linen ribbon. This is a six inch piece and a four inch piece. So I'm gonna do what I do all the time with my ribbon. I'm gonna put the adhesive on each end, wrap it around the bottom of the designer series paper. Oops, it curled on me. Let's take that off again. There we go. Try to keep it straight here. That looks pretty good. Wrap it around. Now I can put it on my card. So put it right down here. And I know you're probably like, well, why did you use the same color? I just think that's a neat look. I've seen a lot of other people are using doing that too, instead of having a different color border. So there's that. Take the four inch piece, thread it under here. Actually, I'm gonna put it here on the right side. So it's threaded under, and then I'm just gonna do a single knot. And that's it for there. I will go ahead and trim the ends just a little bit. I always like having that angled end. Okay, so that's ready to go. Now we're gonna die cut this. I'll put the card over to the side, move all this stuff over. Bring the big shot back in. And now I'm gonna lay the die on and you are gonna love this. Our new dies, now the everything is uh, rosy are the old dies design. This is the new one. And I love, you love how I'm gonna line this up. Hope you can, I've got it good in the video so you can see it. Back with the old dies, the blade was actually right here on the inside edge. It's recessed a little bit. So the opening of the die is gonna go exactly around the image. So you don't have to worry about getting the border to look even. You just wanna line it up with the edge of the image. Isn't that, is, that's so much easier to line up. You can see how the opening goes right around that image. And then it'll have a perfect little border because the die will do it for you. So we only need to do that one time since it's a framelit. Pop that off. See, look at that. Just so easy, got the perfect border all the way around. I love it. I'm so excited about our new dies. And they cut so well. And the other thing too is the tape that um, they have 
when you get it, you don't have the magnet sheet. Like I always put a magnet sheet in there, but they have some tape that keeps these in place when you first get them. The tape is wonderful. It's not as strong. It's strong enough to keep it in there, but when you take it off, I don't know if you ever had this happen to you. The sticky part of the tape would sometimes get stuck on the die. It won't do that with this tape. It's wonderful. Okay, so we've got that down. Now to show you the trick, you know, with vellum, you're like, well, how are you going to stick that on? Because you're going to see all the vellum and stuff with it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab some glue dots. And there's some areas where the embossing is really tight, like here in this yellow section. They're not going to see that, especially with the yellow on top. So I'm going to put one right here on the center. And just find little places where it looks like the uh, embossing is going to hide it a little bit. So I'll probably put one here on this leaf. And the other thing too, the colored sections hide it very well. So that looks pretty good. So just find places where it won't show up very well. That's ready to go. It doesn't take that many. That's only about four of them. Now I'm going to angle this on here. And the neat thing, and make sure that the leaves, that's the only thing you need to make sure of, that the leaves don't go over the edges of the card itself. That way it'll still go in the envelope. Actually, I'm going the wrong way. I want it to go this way. Forgot where I was going to put my little greeting because we are going to add a greeting. There we go. And I love how that pink, the petal pink behind it just brightens it up so much you can see the color even better. So now I'm going to bring in a scrap piece. I'm almost done. Scrap piece of uh, Whisper White. And I'm going to stamp Enjoy Today. This is from the same stamp set. I'm going to use my Early Espresso ink pad. Just stamp it on one end. It's okay if it's not even. So I'm going to take my classic label punch, and this is still a new, new annual catalog. Here, let me angle it to me so I can see it. There we go. So you got it centered. Pop it off. Use our wonderful, if I can find them, here we go, mini Stampin' Dimensionals, because I want the grating to be popped up. And with this being narrow, the small ones are perfect. Just put one on each end. Take the paper off. Ah, the paper doesn't want to come off of this one. There we go. You just keep going around until you find an it side that will. And I'm going to put my little enjoy today right there. That's it. So that's my card to show you. I hope you love that bundle. You're going to love it when you get it. And like I said, if you purchase it from me in June, you'll get my online class and you'll learn how to make these five cards along with this fancy uh, the side, it's, uh, center side, sorry, I can never remember the name of this. Center step, there we go. Center step card. And I will give you all the card stock and the ribbon and the embellishments you need to make it. All you need is your uh, bundle that you'll purchase using the host code in June, which, I'll, like I said, I'll tell you that next month. The early espresso ink pad, the memento ink pad, and these blends. The mossy meadow, petal pink, um, the light daffodil, and the color lifter. So if you... Um, but all you need to have to order is the bundle to get all these. So I hope you enjoyed today's uh, live. I'll be back again next week. And please uh, make sure if you want to be in the drawing to get the uh, chicken wire embellishments. I've thrown things everywhere. I don't know where I put them. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> these chicken wire embellishments. If you want to get in the drawing to get this, make sure that you um, mark shared below when you uh, share the video. Make sure you share the video too. And I really appreciate it. I love to get uh, the word out there that I do these so we can get more people coming. I've got a good crowd today, and I'm really happy about that. So I hope you have a great week. See you next week. Bye.